Hello, I'm Chanel, and today we're looking at the Cosmic Laws Oracle by Wasima Tuaria. I don't know how to say her name, I apologize. So this was purchased on Etsy. I bought mine with the book instead of just the PDF guidebook. So it was around $80, and I think shipping was $30, but ended up being $112 Australian dollars in total. This deck has 68 cards in it. So let's take a look at the guidebook here. So you have an introduction. The book is in black and white on matte paper. So they're talking about cosmic laws. You've got some colors there to write your own meanings for how to use the deck, how the deck is structured, spreads and crystals. And then you've got the card write-ups. You've got the number and the title of the card. And then about the card, it seems you have a few prompts and there's space for you to write your own affirmations. And it seems fairly similar. Oh, look, it's very different for every card, the amount that's written. As you can see, some of them have a lot less um, than the others. And then there's some pictures here as well. So it says, what do you see? So how to use the card in context. So I think it's like example readings. Yeah, so at the back, it's almost like example readings of how to use the cards. But um, as you can see, it goes to 68 is the last card there. So this is the box. That's the back. So the cards come unedged. They seem to be standard tarot sized. They are glossy cards and fairly flexible. They don't have much give, so I don't think they have a core. So let's take a look at them. The cards are not ordered, seems. So we've got 52 with Wonder, 53 Deception. So the cards have English and French on them. 50 with Appeasement. I apologize for the sound of my cat playing their toys in the background. 51 Anger, 58 in Calm, 58. Identity, 58. Limits, Guilt, Physical body, society, freedom, humility, cosmic father, Cosmic Mother, Eternal Transformation, Source, Experience, Discouragement, Law of Grace, Law of Love, Courage, Accuracy, Acceptance, Reconciliation, Vigilance, caution, wisdom, that kind of looks like a whale to me, law of truth, law of attention, 
concentration, law of movement, law of harmony and purification, law of resistance, law of responsibility, Law of projection. Law of cycles and rhythms. Envy. Surprise. Fear. Suspicion, stagnation, mental concepts, nature, joy, family. Heart, allies, intuition, solitude, inner transformation, Sadness, confusion, hope, temperance, confidence. Gratitude, control, understanding, choice, sharing. Strength, the law of unity, the law of faith, the law of intention, the law of balance. Law of clarity, law of attraction, law of free will, law of polarity, law of attachment. Okay, shuffling wise, they ripple shuffle fine um, and they overhand shuffle fine. I just got a bit stuck for some reason. So we have confusion. So let's take a look at 47 confusion. So it's numbered. I'll do another one as well since this one is so short. So for confusion, it's a fog that prevents you from making a decision or going to an exit, brings disorder and inertia. It pushes us to reconsider priorities and take a firm stand. So I've got the law of projection. So the laws are the ones that have the big, big write-ups. This one doesn't as much, but it's a lot more than the others. Everything we see outside is a mirror of our interior. This phrase always reminds me of the movie Matrix, where we are all numbers. It's true. 
We are all vibrations and we are at the center of our own world. Everything around us, what we hear, what we see, what we meet, are there for us. They are all keys to our own universe, our reality. In relations to this respect, to respect this law, we must recognize the aspect of the other in itself. Whether we see it as beautiful or as a shabby thing, these are aspects of us that we see and need to be welcomed in us first. You're nice. I'm nice. The world is difficult. I'm not sure I'll make it. What aspect do you reject in others? What are you criticizing most about right now? Come back to yourself and see what these criticisms shimmer in you. So let's have a look at some pairings. Okay, so the first deck that I'm pairing it with is the Heartscape Tarot. So here we have Ten of Swords, Queen of Swords with Accuracy. Courage with Five of Wands and Nine of Cups. Law of Love with Seven of Swords and Eight of Pentacles. Law of Grace, Eight of Wands, The Tower. Discouragement, Page of Cups, The Star. Experience, Knight of Swords, The World. I'll do one more. Sharing, Seven of Wands, Eight of Swords. I am now pairing it with the Herb Crafters Tarot. So we have Choice with Curandera of Fire and the Hierophant. Understanding with Nine of Fire, Eight of Earth. Acceptance, Six of Fire, Two of Earth. Source with Temperance and Nine of Earth. Law of Attachment with the Emperor and Justice. Cosmic Father with the Tower and Nine of Water. Humility with Ace of Fire, Seven of Air. Freedom, three of air, six of water. I'll do one more. Society with Hia of Fire and the Magician. I am now pairing it with the Holy Spectrum Tarot Infinity Edition. So we have Physical Body with Wheel of Fortune and Justice. Law of Responsibility with King of Pentacles and the Empress. Law of Resistance, Six of Wands, Knight of Cups. Law of Harmony and Purification, King of Cups, Ten of Wands, I'm going to guess. I mean, Five of Wands. <laughs> I think that's five of wands. Law of movement, eight of wands, eight of pentacles. Law of attraction with the chariot and queen of cups. I feel like these are speaking to each other very well. Law of clarity with knight of wands, three of cups. Law of Balance with the Sun and Queen of Pentacles. Law of Attention and Concentration with Four of Cups and Eight of Swords. I'll do one. Whoops. I'll do one more. Law of Truth with the Hermit and Queen of Swords. So now I'm pairing it with one of the creator's other decks. This is the Nest of Light Oracle. So we have Intuition with Golden Dragon and Intention. 
allies with the forest and blue flame. Sadness with prayer and ritual, drum and heartbeat. Law of intention, crystal grid, bomb of light. Law of faith with light egg and action. I'll do one more. Wisdom with the unicorn and incense and spirits. I'm now pairing it with the modern Nirvana oracle. So we have confusion with Nirvana and one. Law of projection with teachers and partnership. Guilt with resolution squaring the circle. Limits with involution and breath. Identity with intention and compassion. And I'll do one more. Inner transformation with greatness and connection. I'm now pairing it with the Death Doula Oracle. So we have Solitude with From the Ashes and Sun. Calm with Wisdom and Truth. Anger, Witness Love, Beauty in Death. Appeasement with Growth and Ritual. Deception with vision and sensuality. Wonder with visual mantra and abyssal plane. Law of polarity with unprocessed and new narratives. Law of free will. The Grove, Malleable. I'll do one more. Law of Cycles and Rhythms with Cleanse and Angel of Incidents. I am now pairing it with the When My Soul Whispered Oracle deck. So we have Control with Limitless and Divinity. Gratitude with joy and vibration. Confidence with passion and abundance. Temperance with motivate and determination. Hope with kindness and now. External transformation with confidence and clarity. Cosmic mother with empathy and unconditional. Heart with wisdom and a macrocosm. I'll do one more. Family with communicate and microcosm. Okay, so I've used the... Holy Spectrum Infinity Edition for the week ahead reading. So we see we've got Laws of Cycles and Rhythms with the Hermit and the Eight of Swords. So we'll read from the guidebook for the Laws of Cycles and Rhythms. The cycle is the natural movement of life. As we have seen above with the law of the movement, everything is movement and the cycle is its form. It's music in a way. The cycles we know most are those of the day and the night, the sun and the moon, the seasons, and an, on a more internal plane, the cycle of the breathing, blood cycle, etc. On a more global level, there is a cycle of earth life, of the life of the stars, and the cycle of life itself. Respect and assimilate this law is done first by the observation of the cycles. Recognize them around you. Honor them and understand their contribution to your life. Live with their disadvantages and become partners and not enemies. 
communion with them, moon cycles for women, solar cycles for projects. Learn from them and reproduce their effect in your life. What cycles do you recognize in nature? We also have our cycles of hyperactivity, fatigue, rest, creation, stagnation, youth, old age. What are your own cycles? And how can you live more in harmony with these cycles? I have to mention, this is originally, I think, written in French, and this is obviously the English translation. Okay, so we've got the Hermit card. So the Hermit is generally a card of introspection, self-reflection, -reflect going within to seek your own guidance, and a feeling of having to withdraw from the world, to spend more time in solitude to contemplate all of your thoughts and emotions. So I would say you might be spending some time going within and to trust your insights and wisdom during this period of self-reflection and unplugging yourself from your external situations and people. We've got Eight of Swords, which is feeling trapped or restricted in some aspect of your life. This is normally a cage of your own making. This could be limiting beliefs, self-doubt, external circumstances. It's important though to recognize that the limits are self-imposed and self-inflicted. So you can acknowledge those restrictions and work on breaking free from them. You have the power to dissolve your binding. And then we've got this card, which is almost like a world card to me. It's about cycles, growth, change, transformation, ebbs and flows, peaks and valleys. So I'd say that maybe you've been feeling trapped and stuck with this Eight of Swords cards, but to remember that these periods are temporary that cycles continue and perhaps to be able to pass through this cycle, you might need some time alone, some time for self-reflection, to think about how you are have been limiting yourself, to think about how maybe you are your own jailer, in, so to speak, and how to set yourself free and make forward progress on your journey. So to get out of this current phase and enter a different new cycle. So this was the Cosmic Laws Oracle. Until next time, stay wild, Star Child.